Hey everyone, Chef Patrick here with another segment of Latin Soups and Stews. Today's soup hails from the mountains of Bogota, Colombia. Let's get started. Welcome or welcome back to our channel where we introduce to some and highlight to others the wonderful world of Latin and Hispanic cuisine. Today we're making Colombia's favorite soup, ajiaco. Ajiaco is a chicken and potato soup that is adored in Colombia, especially in the region of Bogota. This soup contains three different types of potatoes, the main one being papa criolla, which is a small yellow potato that is commonly found in the Andes Mountains. Very rare can you find them fresh here in the United States. However, if you have a Latin market near you, you can find them frozen. And these potatoes are used in traditional ajiaco. It gives this soup its signature thickness, but if you can't find these type of potatoes, you can substitute Yukon gold potato. But the first thing we need to do, we need to make a chicken stock. Come on, let's get into it. Today, we're making a homemade chicken stock with a versatile instant pot pressure cooker. Into the pot, we're adding chicken backs. We'll extract flavor from the bones as well as collagen that will give our stock a nice body. We're also adding some chicken breast that will give us even more depth of flavor and will be shredded and added to the soup at the end. Now we're adding our mirepoix. We have diced onions, diced celery, diced carrots, garlic cloves that we smashed, one bay leaf, and a few sprigs of parsley. Add them to the pot. Now add four quarts of water or until you reach the max fill line inside the Instant Pot. Close the lid and set the pressure cooker for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, release the pressure valve to release the steam. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Now open the lid and let that beautiful aroma just seep into your soul. This smells amazing. Shout out to Kenji Alt Lopez for this sped up version of homemade chicken stock. It really produces wonderful results. Remove the chicken breast and set aside. Strain the stock. And there you have a beautiful chicken stock made in less than an hour thanks to Instant Pot. Now let's prepare our potatoes. The great thing about these frozen Papa Criolla potatoes is that when they thaw, it's super easy to peel off the skin. Peel about two large russet potatoes. Then cut into a 1 inch dice. Peel two medium sized red bliss potatoes, cut into quarters, and then into 1 inch dice. Dice half a large onion. We'll also be adding fresh corn on the cob. If you can't find good quality fresh corn, you can substitute frozen corn. Now let's start the ajiaco. I'm adding some crushed garlic oil left over from another recipe, but you can just use plain olive oil and add minced garlic with the onions. Saute for three minutes. We're adding huascas, an herb native to Colombia and a vital ingredient when making authentic ajiaco. Add about two tablespoons. If you can't find huascas, add an additional two bay leaves along with the two that we're adding in this recipe. Season with salt and pepper. Now add the russet, red bliss, 
and Papa Criolla potatoes. Mix to incorporate. Now add two quarts of the homemade chicken stock. You can also substitute a low sodium can stock. Lastly, we're adding a few sprigs of cilantro. Allow the soup to simmer for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, remove the cilantro and the bay leaves and add the corn on the cob. Continue to cook for another 20 minutes. Now you'll notice the broth begin to thicken. We're going to help it along by taking our spoon and crushing some of the potatoes against the side of the pot. Season one last time according to your taste. Now let's plate up our ajiaco. In a bowl, add a generous amount of the shredded chicken cooked earlier, then pour the ajiaco on top. Traditional garnish includes sour cream, thinned out with a little milk, capers, which adds a salty, briny burst of flavor, some ahi, which is a spicy salsa, fresh cilantro leaves, and a couple slices of avocado. Wow, just look at that. I'm in love. There you have it, Colombian ajiaco. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, smash that like button and click the subscribe so you can stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, then your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.